high-profile arrest of BISD's school board vice president is part of the reason her case has been kept under wraps. Today, Dr. Sylvia Atkinson was in federal court for allegations of a movie for money bribery scheme. And today, Local 23's Derek Garcia can confirm her case is being pushed back months. He's at the federal courthouse in Brownsville. And Derek, why this delay? Yeah, hey, good evening, Brenda. The delay is simply because the case is too complex and the number of witnesses is just too much for there to be a fair trial. Now, that's a loose paraphrase from federal judge Fernando Rodriguez Jr. Now, much of this case is sealed, meaning it's not public record. And since it's also in federal court, cameras, recording devices, or cell phones are not allowed in the courtroom. Now, this motion for continuance was granted, and the case is now being pushed back to April 6th. Now, that's about two months from when federal prosecutors wanted Atkins to stand trial for this elaborate money for movie bribery scheme. Atkinson is accused of accepting a $10,000 bribe from an undercover agent. The deal was to allow a movie to be filmed on BISD property because BISD has a history of working with film companies to use buildings for movies. Only this time, federal prosecutors allege that the board VP took a big bribe. I'm all for it. Sign them up. Give me 10 filmmakers. Now that's Atkinson at the February 12th board meeting suggesting that more films should be brought on. Now federal court records indicate that the cooperating informant in this federal indictment was in, in attendance. And Brenda, this case is again being pushed back to April 6th. Meanwhile, Atkinson still serves as the board vice president, only she has been abstaining from anything to do with BISD relations. In Brownsville, Derek Garcia, Local 23 News. All right, Derek, thank you. We'll continue to follow this case.